Happy new season. Thank you very much. Are there any injury news uh, updates that we need to know about? Um, Joe is out, as you know, um, he's been doing uh, individual work, but not um, full work with the, with the team yet. Um, and we have to assess some, some of the others, some, some knocks the last, last few games, last, uh, last few days as well, but uh, until now, for sure, João is out. Some doubts like Andres Pereira and some of the other players. Can you say who they are or you'd rather not? Can you repeat, sorry? Can you say who they are, the doubts? No, it's an, Andres is, is one of, of that. The others, nothing, nothing really serious, but we have to, as you know, another session tomorrow and we have to assess them and after to take, take decisions for the game. And, and with the out, do you have a, a, a date? What's no, it's it difficult. looking like? It's difficult. We have to, to assess him day by day, to be honest. Now he's, we are much more positive about the, 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 the return date, but um, we have to see. We expected him to be probably ready for this, this match day, the next match day, the first match day, but it's not going to be possible. Um, and after we have to see day by day to analyze him, how he's going to react, and to see if he's going to be ready for the next one or not. But it sounds like certainly before the international break. I, I hope so, and we expected that, that situation. But again, let's see how he's going to react when he's, he's coming to the uh, more intense sessions, more, more, more contact with, the, with his teammates during the session to see how he's going to react. So, uh, obviously, still a while to go where deals mm. can be done, although the season is upon us. A couple in so far, obviously a few out, loans ending, going on loan, contracts ending. Are you, you still need more, you feel, into the club? 100%, 100%, no doubts. We, we are really short in numbers um, and we need, of course, the market is being difficult for us, probably for some more clubs uh, as well at, at this level. But we need definitely need more. Uh, we we had two two new faces in. Um, as you know, we left our football club seven players from the, the the squad last season. And when you add just just two players, of course, we need more more signings to come, more new new faces in. Of course, the targets are there. We know what we we want. We want to really to add quality and uh, good professionals for our football club. It's not being easy. I would like to have them there earlier, but it's part of the, the market. Um, we have to work with the players that we have right now, but to answer that to you, of course, we need more, more new signings. Because this time last year, you sounded a bit more frustrated by the situation than, than you do now. Are you accepting that the, the club's doing everything it can to try and get players in? What I have to say, of course, I, I will not say to, to you, sorry. I, I, I said to, the, to my board and what, what I expected from, from the club, um, before, of course, pre-season is to prepare for the, the, the Premier League and uh, unfortunately we, we, we didn't do that with the new signings. Um, I would like to have all of them much earlier, it's clear. Um, it's the best way to, to you to prepare for the, the tough competition that is Premier League and, and I would like to have for, for many reasons that I know um, and I already mentioned for our board, they are not here, it's something that we have to um, to the future to do in a different way probably and um, to be stronger if you want to prepare better for the for the seasons. Can I play that game where I mention names to you and you tell me you can't talk about the people's players? It's your job and after, <laughs> let's see for what I want to uh, say. Callum Hudson-Odoi? Uh, I, I have to, to answer in the same way. Sorry that I forgot to, to answer to say to you one important thing to you about last season on this moment between one and the other. Of course um, our pre-season was a little bit strange because we because the injuries more than the, the the market to be honest was more than the injuries you have from our starting eleven or the players they played more last season and more than 50 percent they were not able to do the pre-season with us through the injury or um, situation of Mitrovic as well. Okay, Tosin, Tim, João, Andres Pereira, and after Mitro we are talking about. Uh, 50% of the, the players that most of the games um, they were starting 11 last season. And of course, it's difficult to, to do a normal pre-season pre -season in these circumstances, but uh, within the, the, the possibilities we did with our best, we had some good games and we, we are ready to go. About the names and players that they are under contract with other clubs, of course. I, you know myself, I will not talk about it, it doesn't make sense. I talk about our players, uh, players that they are under contract with other clubs, I will not do it. But obviously you've seen that, that name linked among others. How Callum? many names you see linked with us? How many? And with us and with other clubs. You cannot answer for each of these names. So the same with Fred? No, with all. I will not talk about individual players from the other clubs. 
Although it's been said that the clubs, Everton and Fulham, have, have reached an agreement over Damari Gray. Is that correct? I don't have. I don't have this confirmation uh, from our board. I don't have. And the last thing you want is more players to leave. So how, how is how is the situation regarding obviously the chaos that's been caused by, by Saudi Arabia with with Mitro, for example? We, of course, um, the market and the market when it's open is always and it, everything can happen. Of course, a um, lot of focus on on Saudi and Saudi market because they they have been strong. They have been uh, um, getting important names and good players. You can you can feel that they are. And they are serious on that, and they, they want really to reinforce their, their teams and to, to make their competition stronger. Uh, and about some of our players, they were been linking with, the, with, with some clubs there. OK, about money is for our board to, to, to deal with that and to, to manage the, situ the, the way they, they decide the best way to do it uh, on the pitch and uh, around the pitch. And important decisions of the pitch is for me. Until now, I, I have been managing the... the the way I think is the best uh, to protect and to do the best for Fulham Football Club. The players they are really important for me too, and I'm here to support them in everything, to make them better players. But uh, at the top is always there the club and Fulham Football Club. Because Mitrovic is reported to have said to friends and family that he would never play for Fulham again. He has, of course. He, he played in the last friendly. Is he available to play? Will he be selected to play at Everton? 100% sure. Oh, Mitro. Mitro was was able to play last last uh, last week two games. He played behind closed doors 60 minutes against Offa Nine. We we played two games against Offa Nine last week, and after played 30 minutes against Offa Nine again at Cottage, and um, we wanted to give at least 19 for him, but in, in two days, and we, we did it like we did with Andres Pereira, not just with him, like we did with Tim Rim uh, as well. Um, and that's it. And um, this week again, working every single day with his teammates. And um, that's it. He's ready to play if I'm, I'm going to decide to start with him or not. Showing his commitment to the cause around the training ground. Him? 100% mm. sure. 100% sure. Um, of course, we, we had a moment and um, I spoke with him. He, he spoke with me. I know him very, very well. Um, I will not hide to you that... Uh, some offers, or the one offer that he received, make him to think, make him probably to um, to take some same type of decisions about to don't play one more minute with for Fulham. He never said for no one inside this football club, this is okay. What what the press said or what is is relative they say about about that. I'm not sure about it. For me and for 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 the club, he, he never mentioned that. Never. Uh, but okay. The people can say what what they want. Was the situation? What he, he had a clear offer from from a club um, and very good offer for him. And uh, of course, um, sometimes it's not easy for them to keep the focus, even if you want them to keep the focus. Since since he started to work with the with his teams, team, teammates again um, on the pitch again, is being Dimitrovic at I know. Marco, it's a similar situation with, with William. Are you, would you say exactly the same about him and his attitude? It's not, this, it's not the similar situation at all. It's not similar. About his attitude, of course, I would say the same. Meet, um, William, is, since he, he renewed his contract, he's training with, with his teammates every single day. He, he didn't miss one session. He's always there. Play the games, as you, as you know. Play all... Or not, but the preseason match that he, he was available, he, he played uh, as well. But it's not similar. It's not similar because I have to tell you that we we receive a, an official offer from it. About to eliminate, we didn't receive an official offer. If there was some kind of stat for the worst possible set of fixtures to start a Premier League season, then Fulham would be somewhere near the top. You know, three of your first four away from home, including away at Arsenal and away at Manchester City. What did you feel when you saw those fixtures come out? Is it better to get those games out the way early because you've got to play them anyway? Or would you rather have settled into the season first? The main thing that doesn't change anything in our preparation. Of course, we sometimes you think that is, is going to be more difficult to play against the, the teams that they finish in the top of the table. And, and if you don't pay attention for the others, <laughs> Will be the first mistake that you are 
you are, you are doing. And uh, for us, full focus in the Everton match and uh, always do difficult um, that type of, of game to play there at Goodies and first game of the of the season. And of course, after you have time to talk about and to think about Brentford and after all the others, uh, we are not thinking Arsenal or City or what's come after. We have to keep focus really in the in our preparation. As I said to you, uh, was not great in terms of numbers to prepare really for the the, the first match of the, the season. And I don't want really in a normal in a normal way. I, I will not do it to change and to start to think in other games even more now because we need mm. everybody. Uh, really together and to focus in the Everton match. Well, given that problem with numbers, and this is a, my final question, thanks for your time, it's been a, a lot of questions. The new, the new rules will mean maybe you'll be playing 100 minutes, 105 minutes, 110 minutes, week in, week out, game in, game out. Some, some managers, Mikel Arteta, are, are for the changes. Pep Guardiola, we know, is against the changes. Where, where do you stand? What I would like, really, is, uh, although, of course, people that is in charge is they can change if they think that is, is, is the moment to change. And of course, they want to, um, when you change something, you want always the best after the, the, the decision, of course. What really I would like, uh, and not just me, and I think all the managers and the players, the football players as well, is probably they have to listen much more ourselves in, in these type of situations, in certain type of decisions, because we are there, we, we are on the pitch, we are in, in the decisions, we know and I think you, sometimes you can, you can help more in uh, taking certain type of decisions to make the, the game to have more minutes, to don't have just 50 or 60 minutes during a game. Of course, the game is 90, 95, 9 will be more than 100 probably. And of course, if you play just five, 50 minutes or 60 minutes, it's not enough. I understand this, uh, that everyone wants to see more of the game and uh, all that stuff. But I would like to, to see the people asking more the managers, asking more the players um, what is going to be the best for the game to be more fluid for the game, to, for the fans to see more, more minutes as well, and all the other decisions, uh, because it's not just this one, all the other decisions that is coming now and from, from Saturday, you are going to see more and probably some people should be Should be more be consultation, right? More yes, uh, it's going to be, but uh, I, I think we have to, to give the steps um, careful because let's see how, how it's going to work. Okay. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Marco, good to see you. Good um, see you. When looking in from the outside, it was evident last season that Fulham were able to establish themselves as a Premier League club very quickly, very effectively. What is key, do you feel, to making sure you go again, that you push standards again this season? One of the reasons why we did it, um, first it was the quality, that, that the way we played, the quality that we, week in, week out, we, we played. Uh, but behind, behind that, of course, was, was the, the idea, was... Uh, Everything what we planned, but behind that, of course, was was there the commitment, the, the desire, the, the the ambition, and the group of players they they, they showed to me and uh, every single day at the at the training ground. And of course, we have to get that standards again because if you don't, if you are not there, it will be much more difficult. It's going to be really difficult, and if you don't reach certain type of standards, it will be much more difficult. Would you say the season objective then is raising the bar? Uh, of course, you know, for Fulham Football Club, we know we know what are our targets. We cannot hide. We have probably six, seven clubs. Um, they are in different level, and of course, all the other clubs. If they don't, they are not really competitive. They can be in trouble during during the season. It's, it's difficult to predict what is going to be. And to be honest with you, I would like um, you know our our goals are but I would like to answer to you in the end of the market about it. The fans are delighted the Premier League's back. Would you have preferred a few extra weeks pre-season, time to prepare? I will, I will need it. Unfortunately for us, uh, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the pre-season. I like much more the competition. I like the, the adrenaline of everything. Um, prepare official match, go uh, week in, week out. Games on, in the middle of the week is everything what we love about Premier League. Um, to get the challenge from each game because it's really challenging to prepare and to, to go. If you ask me right now, of course, we are one of, probably not the, 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 and, um, just ourselves, but we are one of the clubs that probably need because the, the injuries is um, probably stopping us to prepare in the best way you can. Now the players are, are coming more and are recovering more, but probably you need more, but it's what it is and we have to be ready and you are going to be ready. Funny for me, what are you expecting from 
from Everton, I guess an Everton side with a Sean Dyche pre-season behind them? It uh, will be a really tough game, no, no doubt. So of course, it will not be the first time that we are going to play against Everton with Sean Dyche there. We, we, we did it in a decisive match last season for them, much more than for us, of course, but decisive match where everything was in, sorry, involved in that, uh, in that game. And, uh, um, and we did really well. We managed really well the game. We under really well the pressure that is normal comes when we play at Goodison and all that stuff. Of course, I understand your question. They, they, had, um, they had to have a, a, a press season together, all, all that stuff, but more or less the same team. It's always tough to play against uh, teams of Sandash and will be the same the, the, the first game of the season. I know what it means as well to play the first away match of the season at Goodison. Um, the environment that is going to be there, the, the, the support for the home team uh, as well. And it's a very good challenge for us. We have to play at our best level. We have to be really competitive. We are going to play against a physical, really physical team. Um, you can see the size, the aggressiveness, in, of course, in the right way that, that they, they play. And of course, we have to, to reach and to raise certain type of standards. And of course, when we have the ball, we have to express ourselves. Thank you. No, I was not. I think it's, I was not close to 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 leave the club. Of course, I I told you several times um, to you um, end of last season that uh, after uh, two great seasons, uh, this this football club and more the last one that probably no one expected. Of course, we have to be ready to the to the market as a football club. We have to be ready because it's is a is a consequence from our 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 season. Some some interest from some players, interest from from to the manager as well. I think is part of the the football. Okay, it was I'm not saying to you something new. I, of course, I I have had received some some offers to to leave the club. My decision was to stay, and I'm I'm really pleased for that. I'm happy here, and I want to be in Premier League. I want to be at uh, at this level. I want to compete with the uh, in the best and the most difficult competition in the world. Do you think you staying has persuaded some of your players to stay? Because, no, I, I I don't think so. To be honest, of course, um, it is important for them to feel that uh, um, not just the, the staff, but the group of players that did, did so well and. Uh, uh, season after season, you are um, refreshing some some positions that you want to reinforce in, in the squad, but at the same time to to keep that core of the, the group that that players that they have been so so important for us the last two two seasons. Of course, if if you can keep the the staff and the manager in the, in the club, I think it's good for them as well, because many changes not as good. But to be honest, most important than than the manager, than the players, and all that stuff. Uh, the club and, and Fulham Football Club has to be ready for everything, has to be prepared for everything that can happen because you cannot control everything in the market. But you can control your plans, you can control your strategy, you can control everything. And it's my job to, to give the, this direction for this football club and make the people to understand that um, market you cannot control, but your decisions you can control. I, I would not like to, to say to you 100% if was the decision behind uh, um, the reason behind this decision was was just that w William loves to to be in Fulham Football Club. I don't want just to to link with 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 me in this situation. I, of course, as you know, I I was um, probably the person that believed really on him last season when no one no one did it even Premier League no one did it, um, and of course was was one of my priorities to, to, to renew the contract with him, to keep William with us. And of course, it was important for him to understand what will be the plan again, what will be the goals, what will be the strategy, what, what will be the manager probably. And I cannot hide to you that probably was, was one of the, the reasons. But as the new players, the new signings as well, of course, is important. Uh, who is going to be the manager, the type of football that we are going to play, all that stuff today, the football players. Um, they have the interest to know not just what type of club you are going, but the way the, the, the club is going to play, what, is, what are the goals, all that stuff. 
and of course probably was one of the the good reasons for for William to renew with us. I would like to to them to allow, allow all the managers, not myself, just any manager has his, his way. Of course, I, I understand the, the reasons behind. Of course, we have all of us in football, referees, managers, players, we have to behave, we have responsibilities with the, with the fans, with all the staff, with the, the kids that they love the football and they, they, they are in stadiums or they are at stadiums or they, are, they, they watch at home, all, all that stuff. At the end, after you have to have the right balance to understand the things as well, because we cannot um, block a manager there sitting every time. And to because passion is important, you have to to be playing under the rules out in, in the touchline as well. And uh, I, I like to be like that. Of course, I have to balance myself, and uh, I'm I'm ready for that. I would like to see from the the other side the same balance.